The Soulbound, an ancient order dating back to the Age of Myth, emerged during a time of grand alliances, wondrous magic, and the rise of colossal civilizations in the mortal realms. Initially created before the fracturing of the Pantheon of Order, the Soulbound served as both the gods' loyal servants and protectors of the mortal realms. However, as darkness consumed the realms during the Age of Chaos, memories of the Soulbound faded into obscurity, their fates their own. Now in a time where the Soulbound are needed the most, Sigmar, the God King, calls upon his former divine allies to reunite and resurrect this lost order of mortal champions. While many have ignored this call, a select few gods answered, and thus the Soulbound once again tread upon the mortal realms. To become Soulbound is to endure a profoundly agonizing process, initiated by a mystical ritual that not everyone survives. Those who succeed are bound together, their souls intertwined to form a powerful magical tether and conduit. Although scattered across the mortal realms, the Soulbound primarily operate in small groups known as bindings. Each binding functions independently and often performs covert operations, undertaking necessary but morally ambiguous tasks that others might hesitate to pursue. Becoming Soulbound comes at a steep price. In a world plagued by chaos and corruption, the Soulbound face unimaginable evils, constantly striving for survival. These dangers are further pressed when soulbound individuals become permanently tethered to allies they may not always agree with, sacrificing their previous safety and normalcy. In exchange for these dangers, the soulbound can tap into the power of their binding, surpassing the limitations of ordinary mortals. The unity of their souls allows the soulbound to surpass their own individual potential through a power known as soul fire. Soul fire enables accelerated healing, protection against diseases and toxins, fatigue resistance, increased physical and magical prowess, and enhanced non-combat skills. In desperate situations, soul fire can even help a soulbound withstand an otherwise fatal blow. Crucially, their eternal souls are shielded from Nagash, the god of death. If a soulbound meets their demise, their soul shatters, releasing a burst of light and magical energy. The common belief is that these souls are forever lost, dissipating into the etheric energy of the realms. Others, such as the Dwarden smith god Grungmi, speculate that these shattered souls may eventually reunite and return to the world. Yet, even with these extraordinary gifts, the soulbound often demand wealth or favors in exchange for binding their souls to the service of the realms. A fire slayer may ask for their weight in Urgold, a warrior priest can find validation in the eyes of Sigmar, and a Lumineth from Sayar may gain limitless time to work on their next greatest masterpiece. Once soulbound, individuals cannot easily sever their connection and tales circulate of those who abandoned their binding, suffering immense pain and inflicting suffering upon themselves and others. In exceptional circumstances, a soulbound may be relieved of their duty while keeping their soul entwined with the binding, enabling them to rejoin when needed. The gods may even disentangle a soul from one binding and connect it to another, bolstering the latter's strength. While stories suggest that heroic or selfless acts could release a soul from its binding, allowing a semblance of life after duty, such tales may be a mere hope in the face of the overwhelming obligations to the forces of order. The Soulbound Stand is a testament to the power of unity and perseverance from the Age of Myth, representing the potential that arises when the people of the mortal realms come together to forge a better future.